I think I bumped the mic, sorry. Can we see weapon usage? It's not going to be much at this point. Like, almost everything's going to be nothing. Like, besides the ones that we, we did tonight, like, you see, we did sword and shield and dual blades and hammer tonight. It's pretty low. Oh, my head's in the way. There you go. Pretty low. Uh-oh. Wait, zero switch axe? I totally did some switch axe in this playthrough already. Maybe I abandoned the quest? Huh. I thought I tried them all. Alright, well, let's see. Alright, fog. Fog, what's it gonna be? What am I using? Rigged. <laughs> Rigged clap. Well, switch axe it is. Good, 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 good. I can't believe- What? I can't believe that. I really thought I'd use Twitch Axe. I thought I had. Maybe it was- oh, it was an arena quest. It was in an arena quest. Maybe those don't count? That's weird. It was an arena quest. That's what it was. Sorry. It was the Kulu arena quest. Look, hang on. Hang on. There. See? There, I've used it once. It's just like Hunting Horn and a couple others, I've used it once. There you go. <laughs> yes, Sushi, my name is Mike. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. When I come back, we're going to go ahead and make a wish list of switch axe. A wish list of switch axes to make. All right, I'll be right back. See you guys in a moment. We're name bros. Nice, Sushi. Nice. <laughs> Okay. We're back. Good night, Ken. Rest well. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out with us. I don't know anything about how Switch Axe works in this game yet. Clearly, because I haven't used it very much. I have an inkling that Elemental Switch Axe is a little better than it used to be. I heard a little bit of that on a podcast I was listening to. So, like, potentially you might want to make more Elemental Switch Axes. But I think we should start off with power file and then go from there. 
So let's look at the power files for Chaxus. Looks like Mizutsune's and Rathalos's both look pretty decent. Decent raw, decent sharpness. Element with a power file. Always a good combo. The Shredder. That looks like an Elmudrin design, but we haven't fought Elmudrin yet. Huh. That's weird. No, I guess it's not the Elmudrin design, because we saw that one in the in the demo. Assault Axe. Snowfall Axe. That's an interesting name for it. Yeah, I think that's what I heard too, Kanihi, is that Power File takes a while to charge the sword up. Hidden Axe looks okay, but Poison File is kind of a bummer. Might not matter with that much green and that much affinity, though. Zin Switch Axe looks strong. This is probably the one to make, honestly, to start off with, would be the Magnamala one. Blast with 130 loads of green and power file, that sounds pretty darn strong. There was something about an Origami Switch Axe. Capture one Mizutsune. We can do that. Magambi has more raw than Zenogre, does it? No, it's the same. Oh wait, no, you're not you're not wrong. It does. It has elemental file instead of power file, but yeah, it has has more raw by a lot. Less element though, but it has elemental file. It's interesting. I've heard people tell me that, or some people have told me about that with Narvik. It sounds nice. I like having him comfort you. That's okay to sit here. Okay, what are we gonna start off with here? such a cool design. It's also a funny joke about how some players spend more time making armors and running numbers than actual doing hunts. Mm -hmm. Probably so. This is a brand new design, this Kezu Switch Axe. It's really cool looking. I think, you know what, let's just let's just freaking do it. You know what? Actually, this is what I want to make. This is what we're going to start off with, actually, I think, is the Delix Switch Axe. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in a bunch of a bunch of elemental and power file switch axes. We're just gonna make them all. So we can try them all out. The axe in the psalm. Dude, how can you not make this switch axe? <laughs> it's called the axe in the psalm. The rapid morph skill is pretty cool, so I have heard. I want to get a sense for switch axe without the rapid morph skill, because I haven't played much of it without it. And then we can try it out with the with the rapid morph skill. We're making like a large majority of the axes. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's scary looking at all of those. 
<laughs> has so many axes. <laughs> Yeah, we checked it out too. I think there's just it's just there for the sake of environmental storytelling, honestly. Okay, so we're starting off with a Delux sale. Where do we go from here? What's our first thing we're going for? We can make the Rathalos flame spitter. We can try and farm that up. We can make the I think Axnosom would be a good one after this one. Yeah. Let's go for that one. Let's fight an Axnos let's let's fight an Axnosom with Switch Axe first. Okay, we're going to go to the training area and check this thing out, because I don't really understand how a switch axe works in this game yet. What'd you do? Hang on, I missed what Crystal said. You accomplished one thing, you unlocked high rank? Nice. I'm glad it was an adrenaline-filled quest. Want a rundown? Sure, sure. Any tips you guys have for, for Switch Axe would be much, much appreciated. So, the things that I do know are that... This will make your, your, your sword power up faster. And there's some new morphs. Like, that's a new morph. There. Yeah, there's a new, like, double hit morph here. When you're in that powered up mode, I know it sticks, I know it keeps on your axe, too. One important change from the demo is that power axe mode was moved from doing the axe overhead to just being part of having sword charged. That's awesome, Kanihi. That's a good luck. Power axe mode was moved from doing the axe overhead to just being part of having sword charged? Huh? Are you sure? It looked like I just it looked like I just got it from doing the uh the axe overhead. Yeah, see? Let's read about what these what the soak lines are. Weapon controls, switch axe. Okay. Invincible gambit. A soak line attack activated by, pre activated by pressing ZL plus X. A forward moving spinning attack that fortifies the user, making them immune to flinching or being knocked back by even the fiercest of attacks. And then switch charger. A soak line attack activated by pressing ZL and A it uses a wire bug to launch you forward while quickly regenerating your switch gauge. In addition, the switch gauge won't decrease for a short period of time. Nice. You had your sword charged already. Axe over doesn't give it anymore? Yeah. When did that? Wait. Are you saying that in the in the demo, the axe, the axe overhead gave you automatic sword charge? Because it still gives you power axe. Like, we're still in power axe here. Which means that I think it'll charge up our sword quicker, right? Thought you got power files in Power Axe before? No, Power Axe was 
Power Axe in World was just this. This is Power Axe. Having files in, in Axe mode is completely new to this game. There was never file damage associated with Power Axe in World. Okay, how do you do the whole... Can you do zero... Is, is there any um, ZSD in this game? Oh, there we go. How did I do that? Before I didn't do that. Axe mode file how? You get axe mode files once your sword is charged up. You're talking about the demo? Oh, okay, Neff, I got you. I don't know about the demo. You're good. I, I don't know about the demo, Nefudis. You might be right. Yep, so you can see now that we have our sword charged, our axe mode hits also have file damage to them. ZSE is when you're amped. Okay, thank you, Trav. And I think if you ZSD, if you cancel the ZSD early, you won't get flung off like that. Or at least you didn't in World. Okay, if you end it early, you don't get knocked back as far. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, what's the switch skill? Invincible Gambit or Soaring Wyvern Blade it uses a wire bug to fly up while slashing, ending with a forward slash from midair. If the forward slash is successful, the weapon's activation gauge fills up. A large explosion goes off where it connected. While holding ZL, press X. After jumping up, pressing X performs a forward slash. In midair, a forward slash is performed regardless. Okay, let's see what that means. Okay, I think I understand the basic changes for Switch Accent's moveset now. Maybe. What does that do? Does some file damage. Is that all? Can you do more than that? Or is that what that one does? That's pretty cool. Seems to fill up a seems to charge up a, a, a decent chunk of your sword. It amps sword. Okay, I mean yeah. Let me reread I'm gonna reread that description. After jumping oh amp and then do it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Supposed to do something else? The files from Switch X are a lot more visible now. Oh, you don't know? Okay, that's fine. Just seems like it does a nice chunk of file damage and it charges your, helps charge your sword. That seems nice. I like those combo of those two together. The the char the switch charge one and the, the jump there. That seems pretty nice. Okay, let's hunt some monsters.
we'll try Rapid Morph out in a little bit. From what I understand, Rapid Morph makes all of your morphing attacks quick quicker and deal more damage. That's the move. It's a good way to charge your sword. Cool. Seems nice. Hello, Ninty. What's up? Not much. We're collecting lots of gear and learning some weapons that we haven't quite learned yet. You have a question? Okay, what's your question? Do you have any critiques of the game overall? Um, by critiques, do you just mean like criticisms or do you mean like what is my opinion overall on the game? For criticism, um, Village is a little squishy. Like it's a little easy, but that's probably not the worst thing in the world. I haven't gotten to hub or high rank yet. So it's, I, I'm still kind of up in the air in terms of how hard the game actually is going to be. Um, I think I really wish that Wyvern Riding was optional. It interferes with my hunts a little bit too much. It is less intrusive than Clutch Claw was in a big way. It's also more fleshed out than Clutch Claw was in a big way and more fleshed out than traditional mounting was. So I prefer it to having both of those systems in the game. Um, but I wish that like when the monster became mountable, you didn't have to mount them. I wish it was something where like if you sheathed and walked up to them, you could mount them and ride them. But if you just kept attacking, it would just be like a nice little damage window. I wish that was the case. Um, besides that, the Rampage is confusing. I don't know what to think about the Rampage yet. I've only done two of them. The first one was really easy and it was the tutorial. The second one was super over the top. I didn't lose or anything, but I was like confused the whole time. <laughs> so that's about it. Aside that, let me think, do I have any other criticisms? I don't think so. I'm really happy with what they did with the monsters so far in this game. I like the AI that they've created the monsters. That too. The camera controls when you're riding are, are kind of funky. Right, we're gonna hunt an Aknasom with Switch Axe for our first Switch Axe hunt. Yep. That's about it, Ninty. Any advice you would give for someone new to the Monster Hunter series? Um, take your time. Look up help on YouTube. Sorry, I, I guess I figured you you asked that and I thought you meant from a from a position of knowing what those things are Sorry, I probably didn't do a great job of explaining that there's a new mechanic in this game where you get to ride on the monsters backs Which is neat and sometimes I like doing it, but you can't always control when it happens Sometimes it feels like it just automatically happens. I, I figured you were coming in here like a monster hunter person like what are the things you don't like? Um, <laughs> let's see what else did I say the monsters in village are kind of easy, but that's not the worst thing in the world that makes sense. Um, I think that's about all I said. And there's a new mode called the Rampage, which is like a weird tower defense mode, which is very new to Monster Hunter. And it is a lot of multitasking that you don't normally do in a quest. Usually it's just kind of you versus the monster for the most part, or you versus a monster and maybe another one shows up or there are some small monsters. The Rampage mode is like a huge tower defense thing with like a wave of monsters coming at you, which is a lot. Um, but it's kind of optional and it's not super forced so far at least. I'm sure it'll happen a couple times throughout the story because it's part of the story, but it's not so bad. Yeah, my biggest tip would be try it. I know this game is pretty text heavy when you first load it up. It has some tutorials. Try and take your time with those. They will teach you some basics that are kind of important. If you can't stand that, make sure you go on YouTube and try and watch some beginner's guides on YouTube. There are some really good content creators out there who will make the game a lot easier to learn as they explain it. Um, anytime you feel like you don't understand a weapon or a mechanic, it's usually kind of worth it to go out and read about it on YouTube or watch a video about it on YouTube because that will usually help you out. And it feels good to kind of, even if like you don't always want to interact with the system, like I don't always use the, the cat and the dog system in this game. It's kind of nice to know how that works. Have you tried any multiplayer yet? I tried to do multiplayer once and it disconnected us twice. <laughs> so I'm hoping that when we do multiplayer on Friday night, it'll be a little nicer. We're going to be doing a multiplayer night Friday night. Thank you for the follow, Ninty. It's nice to meet you. If you have any specific questions about weapons or the game or anything, I can try and answer them to the best of my ability. Don't have this game, but after playing with the dogs in the demo, you might buy it. You prefer the dogs over the cats. The dogs and the cats are both really, <laughs> really cool. Bye, Arzuros. They're cool. I don't always hunt with them because I like just practicing my weapon versus the monster. 
Oh, but they're a really nice way of getting around. You can also pet them, which is kind of rad. Good dog. <laughs> you were the most helpful out of the streamers you met. Well, nice. I'm happy to be that. All right, cheers, Nancy. Have a good one. See you around. Now to hunt the Echnosom. He flew away from where we were initially running to meet him. Even just from those first couple mechanics, the Switch Axe had, has had changed, where it's a little harder to charge up the axe, a little harder to get to that ZSD. You have some extra morphs, it looks like, and the, the axe mode gaining file damage once you get there is kind of cool too, because the axe mode's damage is really quite, quite comparable a lot of the time. Okay. Angry Acnesom. What is he doing? Ouch. No thanks. Yeah, so I've heard no, Neff. I'm excited. I'm, I've put I've put some elemental file switch axes on my list of, of things to make. Okay, that's kind of sick. And it automatically morphs you too, I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I jumped right back into it. I'm lucky I didn't get hit a second time. Does anyone know what elemental charge blades do? Yes. So, elemental charge blades will often still hit with elements on their regular attacks, but when you do your big file attacks in sword mode, or in axe mode rather, they'll do elemental damage instead of impact damage. So they do lots of hits of, of element, which can be really nice. Yeah, the file attacks are basically, the file attacks completely replace any impact damage or basically artillery or true damage there with, um, with element instead, which is kind of cool. What skills do you want for Swag Axe and Rise? I would imagine damage and, I guess, damage skills. Evade Extender was pretty good for, for Switch Axe and World. A new skill in this game called Rapid Morph makes your switch at, your switching attacks quicker and deal more damage. I haven't tested it out yet, but from what I've seen, it seems pretty promising for folks. Brand new skill is fun to play with. That goes all the way around. That's cool. That is a really cool move. But yeah, mainly just sharpness and damage skills. Element skills, if you're going for an elemental switch axe, you want to boost how much element elemental damage you're doing. But Rapid Morph seems pretty neat. Evade Extender sounds cool too. That's a fixed angle. Okay, it doesn't lead into that automatically. 
For a second, I thought that <laughs> led into that attack automatically. Dude, that sounds funny. Hey, Don Crotcha, welcome. Oh, gosh darn it, Roggy. Is really cool. Oh, I just remembered something about World Switch X. Remember, you could do this whole rolling morph. I forgot about that. Whoop. Elzeret, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying the monster tour we're doing so far tonight. Too long of a morph now when it does that double morph. We made it. This is cool. I like how Switch X feels in this game. It feels good. It feels like you get to build up to that amped state and then you really get to go off with whatever combos you feel like going off with. I don't know what like the optimal damage combos would be for it, but it just feels nice. Because it feels like both sword and axe mode do decent damage. I'm sure ZSD is pretty good too. Okay, so you can aim that 360 from up in the air like that. Kind of cool. I used it to dodge or dodge its moves as well, which was nice. Not that one, obviously, but the previous move it was going for, I used it to dodge, which is kind of cool. I don't know Akinsam's hit zones. I think its head is weak. It's nice this acts as both a dodge and a refill. This is a fun weapon. Also, just imagine getting to go off with the axe mode combos with elemental file. That sounds pretty cool. Like, if you can charge that up quicker and get to that state and then go off with axe mode attacks, it sounds pretty neat. Let's do a little bit of comparison in terms of the damage of some of the switch axe combos in the training room when we get back.
That sounds like fun. Are you going to solo hub or use the join request that lets you do on any hub quest even in solo? I'm definitely going to be soloing. <laughs> Well, we're going to be doing some multiplayer nights very soon, but when I'm doing the hub, I'll be doing the hub on my own. Okay, that was for the Aknesom switch axe. We can now make it. It's a power file. Is there a fire elemental one? I don't think there is. That's a bummer. Maybe later on in the game, hopefully. Right now you just got fire with power file and fire with power file. All right, what, we sh what should we use our, our fire with power file on? Go hunt a Kezu, that could be fun. Or a Ludroth. Let's go hunt a Ludroth. Almost done with every hunting horn in, in, in low rank. That's awesome. Okay. Got our Actinsom switch axe here. Um, let's take a look at Rapid Morph. Just missing Magnum Molo Plate and some special items from the Meow Scenarios. Nice. I really like collecting things in this game. It feels good. Okay. Death Stench has Rapid Morph. Volvodon has Rapid Morph. So we could get all three points in it. Let's compare to what we have right now. That would be giving up Razor Sharp. So we get two points in it, but we would we would sacrifice three points of attack boost for it. Speeds up our, our attacks by 30% and morph attack damage goes up if we get all three. Just blind. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Where'd you get that sinister cloth? Remobra. Pretty sure Remobra give it to you. Okay, attack was. Attack boost 2, Razor Sharp 2, Evade Extender 1, Wirebug Whisperer, Rapid Morph. I don't think you can get something like Evade Extender on Charms, can you? At least not yet. No. Or yeah, it could be this it could be from the Meow scenarios. Alright, I want to check this out in the training area. No worries, Dragon on Fire. Okay. How does the charm melding system work? I only have the first level of it unlocked, but you use monster parts and you can choose skills you want. 
and then we'll have like a, a certain chance to, to proc on the charms that you get. Even with just one point of evade extender, that feels pretty extreme, doesn't it? Look at that, wow. All right, so we, this is one point of rapid morph and one point of evade extender. It is a lot faster, wow. Okay, so now that we have our axe amped up, 32, 26, 28, 35, 51, on the head, though. Okay, it looks like the sword swings are probably better damage still. But the axe looks alright, too. Morph attacks are really strong. Have you used Sword and Shield much? It feels so good now. We used it a lot earlier tonight, actually. We, conduct we collected up a good number of Sword and Shields. Not all of them so far, but we've, we've collected a good number of them. I'm just trying to learn Switch Axe now. Yeah, earlier tonight we did a good number, a good number of hunts with Sword and Shield. It felt nice. Tonight was the first night I'd done a lot of Sword and Shield in this game, but it carried over pretty well from World for me, I think. Interesting. Those those, those morphing hits do seem to be pretty strong. Not this one. I think this one doesn't count as a morph anymore. But when you morph like this into this, they seem pretty strong already. So if you boosted the power of them, it could be pretty massive. The element files match the color of the element now. This isn't an elemental switch axe. This is a power file. This is just a, a fire switch axe. Okay, let me, let me go ahead and get it to an ant state again. You'll see the files. I got you, Puppy, again. No worries. I'm, I've started uploading pretty decent highlights to YouTube. So if you want to watch on there, you're welcome to. I'm trying to divide up the, the stream into easily watchable highlights there yeah you can see like those those kind of they almost look like charge blade files they look like little bits of yellow we attached to the monster those are the files it's kind of hard to see on top of the fire effects but they're there thanks uchi have a good one i'm sorry your internet's giving you issues explosion does a lot of damage Okay. Let's go hunt some more monsters. Have you played with bow much? You're loving it in this game, especially with the different switch skill options. I haven't unlocked all the switch skills for it, but I have played some basic bow, and I, I've been enjoying it. It's kind of an in-between between old world bow and world bow, and I've, I, I like it. I like the different shot types quite a bit. All right, we're going to go make a Royal Ludroth Switch Axe for our first Elemental Switch Axe. Can we upgrade to it? No, we need, we need Spongy Hide for either of these. Okay. Okay. So Claws and Spongy Hide. Let's go hunt some Ludroth. How's the hunts going? The hunts are going nicely. I'm not going to I'm not gonna hit the Popo for charge. Only mean people hit Popo for charge. Are you eating the popo? No. You leave my popo alone. It's been fun collecting weapons. Whoop. Just a very decent time collecting weapons so far tonight. Just learning and practicing the new movesets too has felt really nice. Hi. 
just a bit here, after we forge one or two more switch axes, we'll probably get to try out another switch skill as well, which is exciting. The switch skills, they're not all universally, like, something I like for the for the play style of the weapon, but most of them have at least one really interesting one so far, so. I'm enjoying them. Okay. Ludroth with fire switch axe. Should go nicely. Didn't click for you all in demo. Should give it another try. Only if you want to, but yeah. It seems like it's in a good place or an interesting place in this game, I think. I see that Ludroth. If we got hit there, it still charged our axe up, so we can now start charging our files up a little easier. Oh, right into an attack. <laughs> Nope, too slow on that switch skill. I was gonna try and get out of the way and recharge. That's his big tackle attack in this game. Okay, it seems like he'll often do a jump after that, even if he doesn't hit. It's good to know. Yep, switch axe is in a very interesting place in this game. into it. <laughs> Thanks, Dragon on Fire. I'm getting there. I don't feel like I can really properly showcase a lot of them yet, but it's all about learning, so that's what we're doing. That's not what I meant to do. It's still hit, which is nice, but I was supposed to soften my axe up there. Or power my axe up there. Whoa. You can see I don't really know what I'm doing with Switch Axe yet. I think I gotta wait for him to do things more before I go in with these big sword attacks. He's gonna do a jump after that, probably? Nope, not quite. We're gonna do this. I missed. <laughs> Alright, like I said, let's wait for him to do things and respond. There we go. Alright, we're finally charged up here. We'll get there. Is him weak to water even slightly? I don't think so. Eh, slightly, yeah, actually. It's his second best. Never mind. It's just after ice. Yep, so far I would say I have been too eager with the big commitment attacks. And I've gotten punished. Just means I gotta get used to the get used to the flow.
Oh, right into it. Gosh darn it, I feel so bad. They go. Oh, geez. That, there's that attack. Is Royal Lugas just a damage sponge? No, it's only been like five minutes. Oh, unless you're talking to like a pun. In which case, yes, yes, he is. talking a pun, then yes, yes, he is a damage sponge. Him. That was cool. I thought I was gonna get hit out of my ZSD there. I was gonna be super sad. God, that attack keeps catching me. I need to learn to roll to the right with him because he keeps catching me with that stupid uh, water shot. go long enough. <laughs> One, two, three. There we go. We're good. That felt really sloppy. I kept getting hit. Well, this means we need practice. I don't think so. At least not that I remember. That almost sounds like a quest that would have existed, Pobiega. I bet it does. I'll bet you anything it's in GU. It's getting late. I think I have a plan for our last little bit of the stream here. That list is getting really long. Oh my god, that list is getting really long. <laughs> I think we're gonna do Royal Ludroth once or twice more. I wanna make this axe. I wanna use this axe to take on Magnamalo, and I think that'll be one of the last things we do tonight, is making the switch axe and then using it on Magnamalo to test out um, elemental switch axe. Oh, 
I don't know, Jack McBride. It could. That'd be neat. You put everything you could make after just unlocking high rank on the wish list, probably twice that? Oh my god. I did do some off-stream farming today. I made some dual blades on my own time. I don't normally I don't normally play that many video games when I'm not streaming because believe it or not, six hours of video games a night is usually enough video games. But when the new monster Hunter comes out, six hours of video games is suddenly not enough video games anymore. This game's menus are nice and fast. This game's got a lot of good going for it. A lot, a lot of good going for it. All right, let's try and make this one smoother than the last one. That's our goal. I'm always needing more warm pelts. I wonder. That works from infinite height, it seems. I mean, it has the locked angle to it, but... I'm so bad at charging up the axe like that. <sighs> Got body blocked. Okay, you jerks. You little loot rocks, you're getting out of here. Let's go for the head break because we haven't gotten it yet. That was a satisfying way to get a part break right there.
That's fine. We almost dodged directly into that. That would have sucked. That feels cool. We just use that to dodge that shot. Good night, Crystal. Holy crap, this thing's almost dead. Oh, I missed. Is it fighting me again? I think it is. its tail. Nope. Must get tail. I missed. Oh. No. I wanted it so bad. <laughs> oh, ZSD. Oh, that would have been the smart thing to do, wouldn't it have? That would have been the intelligent thing to do. <laughs> oh, and it was one hit away. That was a cool kill. And that was a fast loot draw. This switch axe did short work a bit. Something very satisfying, like jetting across a room on a wire bone and just smashing something's face in. We only got one of the spongy hides here. Hopefully we get more in the rewards. follow-up right there, you can more. Oh, I didn't get the carve. That's okay. That was a fun hunt. Greeted, we greeted a little bit less. This weapon against Magdamala is going to be a trip. taking the time to chit chat with everyone right they put a lot of effort into the dialogue i haven't actually done that much chit chatting to be completely honest with you have you taken a good look at master Heyman's brilliant amazing absolutely genius invention i have but honestly it was so incredible i couldn't even fathom how it worked fa fathom how it works i must have asked him a meowling a meowlin million meowlin questions he looked furious the whole time but he actually answered them all what a guy I should chit chat more often, you're right. So we get more pronunciations like that. <laughs> yeah. 
Sometimes it feels so quiet here. Quiet enough to make me briefly forget about the rampage and the calamity it'll bring. But you're making a lot of noise at the hub from what I hear. Minoto tells me Master Hojo is very pleased with your work. Hearing praise for you is like hearing praise for myself, and a job well done deserves a treat. A delicious one. Ah, of course. I'll try and do it more often. I like I liked those two bits of dialogue we just had, so. Alright. Time to see how Elemental File feels. never gets old. I don't mind the cadence of it. We are taking our time this playthrough. Which means usually not skipping the hub song. Well, this game's really starting to feel like Monster Hunter to me. Like, I mean, it, it did before, and it did when we first fought Zenogre and Narga and Magnamalo, and it was so happy. Or so hype and happy. But now it's really starting to feel like Monster Hunter, where we're just getting a little better at the weapons. We're checking stuff out. I guess we should check out if we get another Switch skill after this. You know, Nefus, I'm actually really happy about that. I felt like in World they gave us, not just with investigations, but even with some other quests, I felt like the rares weren't all that rare in that game, so. I'm pretty pleased about how this game feels. Alright, here we go. Water switch axe. Where are you charged up? Elemental does charge up quite a bit quicker. That's nice. Oh, that feels cool. That felt really cool. Wow. That didn't. I need to remember how he moves with that move. Walked right into it. This is a fun matchup. This is a fun matchup for sure. 
jumping over. Oh, God, screw you, little Rocky. My goodness. Jumping over his one attack there with our wire bug attack felt really neat. Stupid Rocky. I'm sorry, having such a rough time, Skiffy. I wanted that. There we go. Someday we're going to hit that. That knocked him over really fast. Wow. Oh, jeez. That almost got us. Oh, I did not recognize that was what was happening there. I have a little bit. Supposed to be a morph. What happened? I mean, Skippy, if you're having that rough of a time, just play solo. I mean, that's my answer to most multiplayer issues. I don't know if that works for everybody, but if you're having that rotten of a time, I would just play solo. Unless it's like your friends you're playing with. It's fun so far. I think we're doing pretty good. I think this is I think this is doing decent damage to him. Hello, hello TB. New Binding of Isaac DLC in 25 minutes? That's crazy. I cannot believe they're still making DLC for that game. I think, hasn't Edmund McMillan said he's done with that game like four times over now? That is crazy. GSD off just before that ended. Don't forget back plus A to reposition. I did it once earlier and then promptly forgot about it. So thank you for the reminder. Darn it. Oop, 
That was a dumb time to do that. Oh god, stop! I like that when you like chuck him towards the wall, he just flies off. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, we're going for the we're going for the head here. Oh, I wanted that DSD on the head. Gimme it. No, oh, come on, gimme it. Gimme it, no! Ooh, the manual reload is not what I meant to do there. We just dunked him. I'm down with it. Oh, but there's the SD war off. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> I'm so terrified. <laughs> He's limping. Oh my god, what a match. <laughs> What are you farming? Um, switch axes currently last need. We've chosen for like each hour or two of the stream so far, we've chosen a weapon to focus on and have practiced that weapon a bit, checked out its new switch skills, and farmed up some gear. So right now we're making like the Magnamala switch axe. And trying out Magnamala with a water switch axe. What's up, Lass? Earlier tonight, we played some sword and shield and some hammer. Why so sad? What is going to be our best wake up hit? I think I know what our best wake up hit's going to be. It counted. We're stunned. Whew. This guy in high rank is so fun. I'm excited for him. All right, here we go. Come on, finish him off. Yep, yep. I like switch axe in this game. I'm excited for it already, Lass. I can't wait. Glad we put in the time to kind of practice it tonight. I'm sure there's room for improvement. There's plenty of room for improvement, but that was fun. You always have to kill the monster if you need the material. You need a tail, but never drops. Sometimes you have to cut off a material. So here, I'll show you that in, in a second, Cryptinal. What what monster do you need the tail from, Cryptinal? We'll look at it together. Some monsters will drop the tail without you cutting it off. Other ones, you just need to cut it. So if you're using something like a hammer, you can't really cut tails with that too easily. We got a plate! That's the first plate I've gotten in the game. Anjanoth? 
I'll take a look at that with you, Cryptinal. One second here. Nice. <laughs> hey, I need one of those. <laughs> okay, so how am I gonna look this up, Cryptinal? I'm gonna go into the Hunter's Notes here. And I'm gonna go to Large Monsters. And I'm gonna scroll down until I find the one I'm looking for. In this case, Anjanoth. And I'm gonna go over LNR. I'm gonna use R to go over to Materials. And I'm gonna look at Tail. So if you look over on the left there, you can see Anjanoth Tail. You can see Target Rewards. What that means is like when you do a quest with it, there's a 9% chance of you getting the tail. Like if you do a, a quest where Anjanoth is the target of the quest, the main focus of the quest, you'll get a 9% chance of that. Capture Rewards. If you capture one, you'll get a 12% chance of getting one. And if you carve his tail, so if you cut it off and you carve his tail, you get a 70% chance. So the easiest way to do it is going to be to carve that tail once you chopped it off. If you're having a hard time chopping it off, maybe bring like a pitfall or a shock trap and laying that down and using that as an opening to deal some damage to it. Or you can just capture it. Capturing it would be another way if you don't want to cut his tail off. There you go. So that's how you find that information in game. What do the two squares mean? I don't know. What do the two squares mean? I think it might mean that there's multiple things you can get it from. Yeah, I think it means there's multiple of it. So if you look at this, the Anjanath Fang, you can get, there's multiple chances of it having, getting, coming from the drop materials. If you look at the Anjanath scale, there's multiple chances of broken part rewards, multiple chances for carves, and multiple chances for drop materials. I think that's what that's saying there. You're welcome, Kryptonel, no worries. Didn't see that there are other tabs. This is amazing. Oh, it really is. They have hit zone values in the game for the first time. They tell you what resistances are in the game. It's so good. So good. That's not true, Melv. That's not true. <laughs> That's an old school monster hunter myth. <laughs> and just like that, we earned it. We earned it. We earned the switch axe. This looks like a great sword, dude. Have you done six star multi monster quests? Nope, I'm still in five star last. I've, I've stayed in five star. Right now I'm taking a break here. Just to, just to farm, I'm gonna farm all 14 weapon classes up before we keep going. The upgrade unlocks when you do that. Okay, we'll get to it eventually. Wow, this thing looks so cool. Here, let's get it charged up and see if it looks any different when it's amped. just glows a little different, but it looks pretty sick. Wow. Yeah, I'm looking to really, I'm looking to really pad my time out with the game mead. I'm looking to really take my time and kind of have fun with low rank, have fun with high rank. I'm going to be soloing all the quests in the game, so just trying to have a good time with it. Yeah, this is the Magnamala switch axe, y Yumu. We just earned it with that fight we just had. Oh man, it looks so cool. How do you know if you've done enough wild swings to go into power axe? Uh, three swings. One, two, three, that's enough. Two, three, 
Boom, boom. If you do it before then, if you do one, two, you just get a, a chop. Are you using Quick Morph? We have Quick Morph 1 on Biodrone, yeah. Our set right now is Attack Boost, Razor Sharp, Evade Extender 1, Rapid Morph 1. I'll probably change Evade Extender out for Rapid Morph 2, so we get a little boosted damage out of it. Let's see if we can do that. Curious to see what 3 looks like. What is the bread and butter for Switch Axe? Uh, oh, beast. Use ax use sword mode attacks until your sword is amped, then deal damage with file attacks. That's like the simplest I can say it. There's a lot of different sword mode combos, but they all do decent damage. Your axe lets you move around fa faster, and you can you can do something called power axe, which will help you charge up your 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 sword mode a little quicker. But do sword mode attacks until you can't, then use axe mode attacks until you can again. Cool. We got the Volvodon stuff we need for this. I don't know where we got the Volvodon stuff. Maybe it was a warm pelt we needed. Here, I'll show you what Rapid Morph 3 looks like, Bio. Whoops. Press Options X to get to status immediately. Ah, thanks. That's nice. Okay, so now this set is Rapid Morph 3, Razor Sharp, Spare Shot, Evade Extender, Wirebug Whisperer. Hang on. Let me get the cat and the dog out of here. What does Wirebug Whisperer do? It boosts how long you can hang on to Wirebugs, I believe. So that double morph dish did 30 and 60. That's substantially more damage, and it is quicker. This is with, um, back to what we were doing before. Attack boost 2, Wirebug Whisperer, Evade Extender, Rapid Morph 1. So those morph attacks are going to be pretty useful, and you do spend a lot of time switching. That's neat. I'd probably go with two points in it so I could keep my razor sharp. So I'd be switching out the the Anjanoth for the Volvodon waste, and then switching out probably Death Stench instead of instead of or no that's Rapid Morph, Rapid Morph, Rapid Morph, Evade Extender. Probably switching Evade Extender out for Attack Up. Something like that. Razor sharp, Rapid Morph, Attack Boost, Wirebug Whisper. Well, now it does a little less because we have less attack up in here. Hmm. Right, I still had more attack boost last time, I think. 
Right now we're prioritizing Razor Sharp over Attack Up. I guess honestly at this point, I mean, I don't, there are only two pieces that can give us Razor Sharp, so it's tough sacrificing one of those for Rapid Morph. Anyways, that's what that looks like. Interesting. Pretty interesting skill. It means you can sneak, I mean, it means you can sneak in this whole double axe hit. And usually around the same time, we usually take you probably do your regular axe hit. Almost. That's cool. I'm quite happy with our progress tonight. Looks like we have some folks to talk to. 